everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you for stopping by. If you are new here, please remember to click on the subscribe button below or and the Anne Makes in the corner of your screen. And they're probably in the opposite corners now that I think about it. <laughs> and there's a bell that you can click on and uh, that will notify you whenever I post a new video. So today, I have a haul video. It's been a while since I've done a haul video because I've been doing so many Christmas crafting videos uh, in the last little while. But in, believe it or not, during all that time, I was still going to the dollar stores to look for things that my family needed and that I needed an extra of for my projects and whatever. So I did buy some other stuff while I was there. So unfortunately, all the food items that I purchased have been put away, but it wasn't, there wasn't anything in there that was um, spectacular or brand new to show you. So today, I'm going to show you the hauls, hauls, I'm going to say, stuff I got at Dollar Tree. And if it gets to be too much, I'll put it in more than one video because um, it, it takes way too long to upload. So uh, this, I just found this two days ago. I went, I went in looking for a phone case for my son, and they didn't have one. But uh, they had put these out in the craft section. This is by Jot, and it is sequin swatches. So I got a few of them. I have no idea what I'll do with them, but I'm gonna open it up to. So basically, it's like sequin fabric, and you get two sheets in here, and this one is this like rainbow color, or unicorn color, and it does like switch to silver, I guess. Yeah, some of the sequins are falling off though. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this is, uh, so yeah, and this one is pink. And the reverse is silver. So that's the only colors were my store. And by the way, when you open this, it's quite messy. Um, just be warned. Okay, so I picked up a bunch of reefs because I have so many doors and windows in this house, and I just thought I better get more of these forms. So that's what I did. I got a stack of the metal wreaths for wreath making. And yeah, I just, like I said, I got a stack of them. So um, I'll have quite a few and maybe I'll have enough to do every single door of my house on the outside. There's a, Yeah, there's a lot of doors. So, um, oh, one thing I'm excited to share with you, and I thought of um, my friends who have like uh, little kids and little grandkids, uh, you might really like this, and I think it's a really good deal. This is by Crayola. It's a book. It's super thin. The, pa the pages are made of the really cheap quality paper, but oh my, the value you get for your dollar twenty-five, and here in Canada, of course, but in the U.S., you pay a dollar. You have so much content in here. It's really a good, good value. I mean, a craft book with this much content, oh, is goes for way, way, way more. Is worth more than a dollar for sure. And uh, yeah, they save money by ma mass producing it and making it on this low quality paper, but who cares? What we want is the content, right? So for those of you who have little kids, uh, this is your best dollar you will spend if you like crafting with kids. Look at all the things, there's a list of all the things you can make. Super easy little projects, fun, safe, uh, I mean, it, it gave me ideas too. So I just thought that I would share this with you guys. And I was looking through this and I was like, you know what? Most of the stuff that you need for making the craft projects in here, you either have already at home or you can get at the dollar store. So it's really, it's really worth it. So the second thing I purchased was this coloring book. And it says it's challenging color by number. And it's an adult coloring book. 
And I I just picked this one up. I don't know if they had others. This was the only style they had. And see, it's all numbered. <clears throat> so, it's, yeah, it's colored by numbers. I just thought, oh, that's fun. So sometimes, you know, you want a color, but you just don't know what color to start with. Let this be your guide. Oh, I picked up another bunch of this green garland for Christmas decorating. So... I'll have that for Christmas. Oh, and the little wooden doodads, they had these little birds on a branch. And I this I got last week. Yeah, it's been a week that I've had this. And when I went back two days ago, they didn't have any more of these left. So these are a really good deal, these little wood die cuts. Again, I never pay attention to how many are in here, but you get quite a bit of these little birdies that are already cut for you for $1.25. I can't make them for that cheap, even with my Cricut Maker, I, I can't. It's this, that's just cheaper than I can make them. Um, <clears throat> I got this sign, this is the thick MDF. So, and this one says home and they had, they did have, when I first bought this, they had quite a lot of words like home, love, uh, friendship, friends, I think, or something, laugh. And, uh, but two days ago, they were completely sold out of this stuff. My store had a few items. I guess they were from last year's stock, and they were clearing them out for 50 cents. And I got this pack. There's six of these very thin, light, flimsy snowflakes, and I just thought they're really pretty. Yes, they're they're, dec they're ornaments for a Christmas tree, but you can make garlands with this, you can decorate gift packages, oh, you can make decoration, you know, paper crafts, there's so many things. So I got, uh, there were three packs at 50 cents a pack, so I got that. And I picked up some more of the fringe poster borders and the foils. I got one of each color I could find at my store. One red, one green, one gold, <clears throat> one black, and one in this fuchsia. Now, one thing I make with these are tassels, uh, but I also wanted to get extra for other craft projects I might have. And they didn't seem, they haven't gotten more of these in a long time at my store, so I decided I better pick up one of each now, so in case I get an idea later, I go back to the store and they're sold out, I'd be a little miffed. I found this package of the Crafters Square felt stickers and they're little gingerbread. <laughs> little gingerbread men, I just think they're so adorable. And they're, yeah, they're felt, they're stickers. They're so cute. I got some of the fake snow, always handy to have while uh, getting ready for Christmas, Christmas crafting, Christmas village making, uh, snow globes, ornaments, Whew, there's tons of things you can do with this. Oh, oh this is new, this, is, this was brand new at my store. It's these pencil grips and you get six in here. Now, <laughs> they're all teddy bears. So, but what I thought, yeah, they're really, really cute pencil grips to uh, help. Like, and I, I know what that's all about because I, I dealt with some children with um, some challenges and special needs and they had trouble holding their pencils and pencil grips were really uh, helpful. So yeah, this is to help if I can get my darn pencil. I can't get my darn pencil through it, okay. Okay, well, if you can get the pencil through it, first of all, or maybe if you stick it up the bear's bottom. <laughs> but anyway, I thought, okay, my idea is to maybe use these as beads, you know? Or any other type of embellishment, uh, share, <laughs> fairy garden, I don't know. But yeah, so I just thought these pencil grips would be fun to have in my craft stash. Okay. Uh, oh, I picked up a package of the glitter icon stickers. 
the little stockings. I got these because, uh, and I, I stole, I'm totally taking this idea from my friend Melody. Um, she used this on a scrapbook page for someone whose name starts with a J. And uh, I have, I have someone in my family whose name starts with a J. So, yeah, I got that for him. And I picked up this package of teeny tiny little bottles. I don't know what I'll do with them, but I just wanted to have them in my stash. Uh, they're really cute. They're mini size. They're great for miniatures. They're great for mixed media, shadow boxes. They're great for making necklaces, pendants for necklaces. There's, you could uh, store small beads in there and glitter, whatever. So I got that. I got a package of this kind of creamy colored blank card and envelope to make some uh, some cards. I just wanted this color for a card I had in mind specifically and I just wasn't sure I still had the color in my stash. I stocked up on some more of the styrofoam cones. I got... Yeah, I actually put them away in my stash, but I did get them. They had the largest one, this the medium one, and the small ones. So I grabbed a whole bunch of those so I would have them because they are hard to find after a while. So I like to have a lot on hand. And if you've seen my uh, my Christmas crafting with Dollar Tree series of videos, I do use those cones in, in there. I picked up this package of the tiny suction cups. Uh, these are the kind that, you, you know, you could stick this in a window and you hang a decoration. I did not have the small size and I, I haven't seen this very often. So I just picked up this package. I thought, oh, that looks like it might be handy. So got that. This was new at my store. I don't know if anybody else has seen this, but they had these mason jar mugs filled with tea bags. And this is like Lord Lancaster, and they have it like this. It's kind of like a ombre effect of the red. And inside the tea, this one is Earl Grey. It's all Earl Grey Lord Lancaster tea, and it comes in this mason jar cup. And I just thought these would be very nice uh, Christmas gifts. And um, I know my son and I are tea drinkers, and I just thought it would be nice for us. And he likes the idea of drinking out of a mason jar, so I thought he would like that. So it'll be, I did get them, I did get two. I got this one that says Twisted Leaves with the blue, and this one in red. So, and the Twisted Leaves one is Earl Grey. Oh no, this one is just regular tea, and this one is Earl Grey. So. Those were new at my store, but they were pretty good value. Oh, so another package of wooden die cuts. I figured, good thing I picked them up. I was like, mm, should I pick up anchors? It's not something I use a lot, but I'm glad I did because when I went back a few days ago, it's okay. I got the craft sticks in the Christmas colors just because I didn't have this, this package. I have plenty of craft sticks and just plain ones and I have all sorts of colors but I did not have green and red so I got this package of craft sticks and so also in the craft supply aisle there uh, they had this package well, not, seriously I'm not very impressed by uh, by it it says hashtag BU permanent mini riders for fabric I think paints mini riders it says paints and it says pre-wash fabric so it's like a, a fabric paint marker or something so you get they're very small three of these this was the only colors no other colors uh, but I bought one to see what it's like and yep yeah, that's what you get I picked up a few rolls of ribbon because I tend to use more ribbon uh, for Christmas and so I got silver, gold, white, sparkly. Those are the colors I tend to use the most in my decorate, in my craft making and stuff. And I got this one in white with the little golden Christmas trees. 
And I got a few rolls of this pink with white polka dots. Uh, I had an idea to make some sort of decoration for my studio here for Christmas, but I didn't get around to it yet. So um, yeah, I'll have it anyway. And I picked up a package of these googly eyes and the Christmas crafting stuff. And they're kind of red and green, they're kind of funny looking. So got that. And in the uh, like the party supplies and stuff. This is new at my store. The garlands of uh, circle. They're you not. Know, they're just a string with lots of circles sewn onto it. And I just thought, oh my goodness, this is so worth the dollar <laughs> because um, <laughs> I once had a job where I, uh, it, it was it was just a one day thing. By the way. I had to uh, sit with uh, someone, and I, I got to make a brand. I got to make a really nice new friend, Nessa. If you ever watch my videos, this is for you. Um, we Nessa and I were tasked to sew garlands just like this, uh, and we spent hours. All we did was sit at sewing machines and <laughs> sew thousands of circles paper circles uh when we were helping set up a show for cricket <laughs> they were all, all the circles had been cut on cricket but we had the task of sewing them all together <laughs> there were thousands thousands so that reminded me of that um got this little keychain wallet that is really cute they had so many different colors so here's a little pocket so you can slip in like your your ID in here or something and then you could put you know money or something hang your keys great you know if you're going um, to the gym or up for a walk or something like that and it, in the hair accessories they had some uh, really nice goodie products and they had this really pretty barrette and I thought well uh, you know, for a Christmas party, if I put my hair up, I could put this in my hair. It's, it'll look very, very nice. And, um, yeah, I could also use this in the craft rooms. <laughs> I know. I do that. Often I'll buy hair accessories that I'll use once and then they go into the... I purchased a few of these. I thought I should stock up on these candle holders in the glass. Such a good value again. You may have seen me use one of these in one of the Christmas crafting videos that I did. It was the one with the cone too. So it was uh, my pink, my pretty pink Christmas tree, I think. I pink, I got, this is where they have the party supplies, baby shower, bridal shower stuff. So I got little bows, little flowers, since I really like working with pink and even for Christmas, I'll use pink for uh, my studio. I got these while I saw them. Let's do where they were. I got me a brand new big mug for this time of year. It looks like Santa's belly. So it's a good size mug. So I got this. So this will be a mug that I will be using now. I wish it were bigger. I really like really big mugs, but I thought it was really cute. So I got that. Now I finally picked up one of these ice buckets and it was the last one at my store and I'm kicking myself now because I probably should have picked up a lot more uh, because I'll probably find a zillion uses for these later on and they don't have any more at the store. So uh, I got one. So I have one of these plastic um, ice buckets. I'm almost out of hairspray because I've been using it like crazy on all the glittery stuff I've been buying. So I got another can while I was there. And oh, this is pretty cool. Um, this is a rolly massager thingy. Like, oh, and that's just what I need right now. So you can, yeah, do that. And it's got a telescopic handle. So it's, you know, if you just have a scratch on your back or you need to massage an area that you can't reach, which is often my problem. I always seem to pull something like right below my shoulder blade and I just can't reach. So, uh, yeah, this is very handy. I've actually bought two. I already have one here on my desk and I've been using it. It does help a lot. 
and uh, the other one I'm gonna put with my painting supplies because I just thought that this would make the neatest little paint roller and probably leave like a whole bunch of funny dots so yeah it's a massager it's a paint roller um I got more of these wooden die cuts because I think they're such good value the package of arrow and the banners I picked up this little children's dress up necklace I want more of this I, I want it for the pink I want to use this as a garland in uh, my Christmas tree that I'll have here so I just wanted the pink but this was the only set left so kicking myself that I never had the idea of buying these before because now I'm thinking oh they would be perfect for my Christmas tree that is it that is it that's it for the Dollar Tree haul that was done over several days running in and out of the store Besides that, there was snacks for the kiddo, or the boys, and Halloween candy, of course, that we'll be giving out tonight, because today, today's Halloween, and snacks for the kitty treats, I should say, kitty treats for kitty. So that's it. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Uh, please go check out my Christmas crafting videos, all my other videos. And by the way, just uh, an addition here, I had a... I've had some viewer comments ask me if I do if I do anything else besides haul videos and I was like yes I do I do there's a playlist there for those of you who don't know there are playlists on my channel and you can go if you want to go just to the DIY videos you can they're in their own playlist and also if you go to www.nmakes.ca no more blogspot.com. You don't have, it's not a long address anymore. I just bought my own domain. Yay! I own the domain www.animix.ca. You go there and uh, yesterday I checked and I have over 300 posts on there and it's most of it 90% of it is all about crafting art making, DIYs, how to's, tons of tutorials. So uh, I've, yeah, so there's lots of content there. And yeah, so for those of you who are interested in seeing what else I do besides these hauls uh, and see how I use a lot of the stuff I show you in the hauls, you can check that out and please do. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and give it a like a comment share all that stuff don't forget to subscribe and until next time stay crafty bye